to another episode of You Got Issues. My name is Nadina Different, and this is the show that's all about you. Now, here's how this works. You send in your questions, I bring in some friends, and with their help, we give you some pretty solid advice. Now, we don't claim to have all the answers, but sometimes your solution may just be a new perspective. So let's talk. Today, we're talking about all things sexual health and family planning, which is very important for the part of the world that we live in, because quite often, we try to shy away from things like this, but I really believe that education is priority. So today, I have my lovely guest. To my left is Kaka. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Can you tell, us, tell them a bit about yourself? Um, my name is Kaka. I am a lifestyle publicist, creative director. Yeah. How did you get into family planning and things like that? Um, okay, this is a bit personal, but I think it relates to the topic. Um, I was a mom at 19, and I'm currently 30, so basically I've probably been in family planning for like the last 10 years of my life. Yeah. yeah. That's How important do you think it is? Um, it is. Children? Down, starting from the conversations that you have, um, teenage, early teenage years are actually very important, down to your adulthood. Um, it's really important because having a child changes changes the trajectory of your life. Mm. Um, I say I'm one of the lucky ones because I'm doing very well, but I know some people didn't have it as easy as I did. Um, so it's very important because it's it's your life at the end of mm. the day, and there's somebody else in it. Well, we're glad to have you and your wealth of wisdom. They're going to share you. very soon. <laughs> we also have Dr. Tolu. Welcome to the show. Thank you for Can you having me. Okay, uh, my name is Dr. Tolu. Um, people call me the fixer. Mm. I'm a sex therapist and a couples therapist. So couples, sex and mental health. I work in those spheres. Nice. How does that weigh on you? Because that's quite a heavy mm. trinity right there. Yeah, it's a lot, but uh, it's much needed in this environment. Uh, considering our culture and our conditioning, the way we were brought up. So it's necessary for somebody to talk about it. A lot of sexual issues, a lot of misconceptions about mental health. And of course, mental health problems as well, marital issues everywhere. So we need people to rise to the occasions and that's what I'm doing. It's okay to say we, in my spheres of influence, we are we, say, we usually say we are leading the campaign for mental health awareness, mm -hmm. sexual health and um, uh, couples uh, therapy as well. I love that. I have some Thank pretty you. great guests. <laughs> Shall we get into the first question? Yes. This is from John. John is saying, A guy finally had sex with his supposed virgin girlfriend, but she didn't bleed after penetration. Instead, she screamed, which he considered weird. He's confused if she really is what she claimed to be. <laughs> I say chuckle. Why are you chuckling? <laughs> this is a real question. Though. He's actually being dead serious. I know. It's just, I think it's funny. It's also a great, like, it's not, nothing is black and white. Yeah. So they should just have the conversation. And if he wants to trust her, quite all right. If he doesn't, then you just walk away. Yeah. It's really, yeah. I can't give the answers. Like, I was in there. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either you trust her or you don't. Mm -hmm. And leave it at that. So what would you add? Okay, so um, the question should be, why is he concerned about this? Mm -hmm. Is this about uh, being a virgin mm -hmm. or is this about trust? So did, he, did she say to you, are you with her because she's a virgin? Did she say to you, oh, I'm a virgin, and then you feel like, you know what, um, she deceived me. Mm -hmm. So it's a different ballgame. So if it's about deceit, that's what they should be dealing with. But if it's about the fact that you trust her, but you still feel like, oh, I should have seen blood that you are not seeing blood. There are a lot of reasons why a woman will not bleed the first time of having sex. Could be because of sports, could be because she's been um, maybe uh, engaging in oral sex, could be because different kind of things could be responsible. So seeing the blood is not uh, a criteria for somebody being a virgin. After all, these days, people fix the human back anyway. Yeah. 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 So, so, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, she says she's a virgin, then she is. Yeah. So, <laughs> she, should be, she should be talking about trust. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, so not... Um... A lady lost her pregnancy to a violent ex and had an IUD. But now, she's happily married, but not sure to remove it yet or talk about her past. Hmm. So, what exactly is she worried about? Is it the IUD or is it the, the 
child that mm -hmm. she lost or is it a past marriage? Which of those things is she talking about? What exactly is she afraid or asking whether she should tell her current husband? I don't think you should have IUD on and your partner will not know about it. So if that is the question, I, I don't see any question in that. There's no question about it. He needs to know. But if it is about the fact that you have lost a pregnancy before, or now it's about a past marriage, I also think you should know. There's no question about it. But if it is about the fact that she lost a pregnancy before, um, I feel some things are better left unsaid. If it is hmm. not going to affect anything, I think she can be quiet about that. Um, there, are two, there are a lot of layers to it. I feel like for you to get to the point where you decide you had a past and for you to we all deal with things separately, but for you to get to a point where you decided to marry somebody else, those are conversations that should, should be had because now there was um, abuse, right? There's yeah. trauma. There's yeah, yeah. a lot of underlying situations. You lost a child. That's a different emotion on its own. How do you even want to deal with pregnancy? I feel, I feel like she's even running away from being pregnant. And then all of those things are very heavy topics that you should deal with with your partner. So mm -hmm. why are you marrying somebody that you can't share with you them. can't share what is technically going to affect both of your lives. Yeah. A guy finally had sex with his supposed virgin girlfriend, but she didn't bleed after penetration. Instead she screamed, which he considered weird. He's confused if she really is what she claimed to be. <laughs> I say chuckle. Why are you chuckling? <laughs> this is a real question. <laughs> He's actually being dead serious. I know. It's just, <laughs> I think it's funny. It's also a great, like, it's not, nothing is black and white. Yeah. So they should just have the conversation. And if he wants to trust her, quite all right. If he doesn't, then you just walk away. Yeah. It's really, yeah. I can't give the answers. Like, I wasn't there. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either you trust her or you don't. Mm -hmm. And leave it at that. So what would you add? Okay, so um, the question should be, why is he concerned about this? Mm -hmm. Is this about uh, being a virgin mm -hmm. or is this about trust? So did, he, did she say to you, are you with her because she's a virgin? Did she say to you, oh, I'm a virgin, and then you feel like, you know what, um, she deceived me. Mm -hmm. So it's a different ballgame. So if it's about deceit, that's what they should be dealing with. But if it's about the fact that you trust her, but you still feel like, oh, I should have seen blood that you are not seeing blood. There are a lot of reasons why a woman will not bleed the first time of having sex. Could be because of sports, could be because she's been um, maybe uh, engaging in oral sex, could be because different kind of things could be responsible. So seeing the blood is not uh, a criteria for somebody being a virgin. After all, these days, people fix the human back anyway. Yeah. 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 So, so, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, she says she's a virgin, then she is. Yeah. So, <laughs> he, 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 should be, he should be talking about trust. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, so not... Um, yeah. Although, that being said, I think the question of virginity, if it's like a, an ego thing, you know, my baby is pure, she's this, then whether she is or not, it doesn't matter. However, I think the only time where you need to be honest with a sexual partner is about your health. Right. And whether, you know, you're, you don't have any infections that you pass on to them, you know, whether, you tra maybe whether you're unprotected right. and that could put them in danger. Mm -hmm. But a question of virginity is not supposed to put anybody in danger. It shouldn't be. So I think you're okay, John. Yeah. All right, our next question is from AJ. AJ says, lately I feel pain anytime I pee. It all starts with unprotected sex with a stranger. What do I do? I'm scared. I think he has answered the question. It started from unprotected sex. Yeah. So I think that answered the question. Yeah. Go to the hospital and check, check yourself up. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Yeah. And I say this a lot of time. When you learn how to make love from pornography. That's not a true reflection. It's like learning how to drive from watching Fast and Furious. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. It's the same thing. You will have bedroom accidents. This has been You Got Issues. My name is Adina Different. You can follow me on Instagram at Different. You can follow us on Spice TV Africa on all social media platforms. And if you have any questions of your own, send us a DM with the hashtag YGI. Don't forget, if you're being intimate with somebody, you can set your boundaries and you can communicate. Communication will take you far. See you next time. Bye.